next that I'm using that one the la mer for the kills and the other one is that one so I have both tried this products different brands actually if I were to to compare these two products um, the only difference with this one um, the clearly corrective dark spot solution is it does clear out the discoloration on your face and also because I am using mask for maybe five days no, actually five days a week and that's at least eight to nine hours daily non-stop with facial on I actually prefer this product more because it's not really causing me any breakouts um, this one the La Mer product does makes my face a bit more itchy when I'm wearing the mask and I'm very prone to have pimples and if I have to make to show you actually what's um, the difference with this one and the other one this one when you press this like that it's um, I would say it's not as thick as the other brand and in the wear product when I wake up in the morning it's actually it feels what's up it feels like you're wearing makeup um, I normally use this I have two types of cream after the after the the serum or the renewal oil so there's a moisturizing cream which is the cream de la mer and the other one is the soft cream the difference with this two is that the soft cream is not as thick as the cream de, de la mer so this is the the cream de la mer as you can see this one is very thick consistency this one is a bit more it looks it's like the other moisturizers as, as well that's how it looks like and um, it comes with like a mini spatula so there's two of that just have to put in there and the other one this one the ultra facial cream from Kiehl's it's it's almost the same with the soft cream from La Mer so I'll show you the other one the, the Kiehl's corrective one serum see you can see when it drops it's actually thicker than La Mer some days I just put the other one in the morning the other one at night and then I put some of them I rub them some in my hand of course I always start with the La Mer cleanser and with the treatment lotion this one or the toner that's what I'm using I also like this one to put in your face so comparing these two products I honestly tend to go more with the kill brand because of the mere reason that it doesn't cause me breakout I think it's basically it depends on your skin um, I would say that whatever suits you better it could be a very well-known product but your skin doesn't like it so it's entirely up to you and one more thing actually now I would like to point out that what I love with La Mer is that their packaging as you can see um, 
I have a video of this when I was opening the products. Um, it's like opening present, like a luxurious present, which is very exciting. I just took up the red one and see how it looks like. It's actually just paper there and this is, I didn't even throw the boxes because I like them a lot that I wanted to keep them. It's very nice and I still have one more moisturizing cream in here. That's the only thing that's not empty in these boxes. It's a smaller version. And when I this is ah this one was actually a free. Um this is a free product from Le Mer when I bought all of this. It can be quite pricey. Um I think I spent over I'm not sure actually I think over three hundred dollars for all of this products from Lanier but it lasted me for for quite some time and the thing with me is I'm not very consistent with my um, skincare sometimes I get really tired and I just can't, couldn't be bothered I just want to sleep after washing my face and with the with this one it only came with a box like its own box um it's in white and it says kill um it says what it is what is the product and what is in there and yeah i felt like the lamire packaging if you if you want to give it to someone it's more presentable this one was just as if you're buying from from the shop just as it is but then it's also quite pricey so yeah there you go thank you for watching please subscribe